How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review and today's game I'm covering is Red Out 2. This game is available on the Xbox, the PlayStation, the Switch, and the PC. This is the sequel to the original Red Out and the setting takes place in a dystopian future where parts of Earth are a wasteland. People have fled the planet for a better living and the best entertainment they have is racing across the galaxy. Graphically, Red Out 2 looks amazing on high-end systems and performance mode. I'm playing this on the Series X and it performs well in Dolby Vision. The speed of the game is fast and fluid as you race on, and the levels and vehicles themselves are well detailed. Some of the tracks uses lights and darks as well as the elements like fire. You can tell the creators are paying homage to other racers like F-Zero and Wipeout respectively. Finally, the audio is cool with its techno beats. You have two different modes which are arcade and career. Arcade has you race on different tracks across the galaxy and only you have one lap, plus you can't customize your vehicle. Career is where you make a name for yourself. There are trials to challenge you to get the best results. Also when in races you can upgrade your vehicle. This game combines blitzing speed and hazards of F-Zero along with the techno music of Wipeout. As you race, there are signs that are telling you where to turn and when to jump. You get graded on how well or how bad you land on the track. However, be careful when it comes to jumping ramps because you can lead to many deaths costing you time and managing your speed is crucial on getting through. One of the negatives I found in this game are landing your jumps. This has led to many deaths on the harder tracks. I had trouble with some of these landings, especially on the levels that are too dark to see the tracks. Learning the layout is key on beating these levels without dying. I give Red Out 2 a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest news and reviews, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us at the Gamer section.